Hey guys, it's Jake. I'm back with a follow-up video on a do-it-yourself V-Drive oil and auto transmission fluid change on a wakeboard boat. Here's a short list of what you're going to need to do this. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment below. So here we are with SAE 30 motor oil. That'll be for the V-Drive and Dex Merc. That'll be for the transmission on the boat. I like to throw some cardboard down because these oil suction devices can drip a little. And we'll just take this tube here. And first thing we're going to do is pull off the dipstick. I like to check the current level, see where I was at, see how it was doing, see if it's clean or dirty. This looks pretty clean here. So we'll set that aside, we'll drop the dipstick tube right all the way down to the bottom, give it a few pumps on the suction oil device, and let it start sucking out all the fluid inside. Probably going to take 4 or 5 minutes, it's a pretty s small diameter hose so it sucks real slow. On another note, I think I bought this fluid, you can get it at O'Reilly's, AutoZone, any auto parts store, I think I walked out the door for maybe... 20 bucks, 25 bucks. It's pretty cheap. The dealer is going to charge you quite a bit more. It really only takes you 20 minutes to do the B drive and the transmission fluid. Super easy. And you know you did it right, which is important. All right, looks like this is just about done. Keep going until you hear it pull all the air out, or sorry, all the fluid, and you start to hear air bubbles. So now we'll push into the auto transmission on this boat. That's also another drain or uh, fill area there. So we'll just suck away. This is going to be a bright red fluid for the transmission fluid. So I like to suck both out one right after another while I got this messy oil device. And then we will get ready to top off each one. I double check, make sure I have the right fluid that's going in there. Now I actually made a mistake and I started filling from the from the wrong area. I was filling from the dipstick when there actually is a fill area. Kind of forgot that there was one in this boat. Works either way though. How much you put in, it's going to depend on your exact transmission. Just look at the owner's manual on the boat. They'll tell you exactly how many quarts of oil goes in the B-Drive, in the transmission, and in the engine. All right, so here I remember there's a fill hole, so we'll open that up. That'll make the filling process a little faster. It's a lot bigger hole. Otherwise, the funnel kind of backs up on the on the other hole there. So just like when filling the oil on your engine, I like to underdo it. Keep checking. That way I make sure I don't over-service this. Looks like it's good in the fill range there. Pretty clear oil, so it can be hard to read on the silver dipstick. Alright, the V-Drive's done. We'll just take the filter out here. Make sure it doesn't drip in your bilge area. And then make sure you wipe down the inside of the filter because you're going to use the same, or inside of the funnel, because you're going to use the same funnel for the transmission fluid. And that's the fill cap for the V-Drive unit. All 
All right, looks like the transmission's done sucking out all the fluid here. Give it a few more pumps just to make sure. And we make sure we had the right fluid to put in right out of the owner's manual. This particular one takes about two quarts. The awkward thing is trying to figure out how to work on these boats from above sometimes. If you aren't familiar, the transmission for these boats changes the speed of the engine to the proper gearing for the propeller. It also allows the engine to run in neutral without the propeller spinning. And then the other function is it allows you to put the boat into drive or reverse when you need to. So that's the purpose of your transmission on these V-drives. All right, the fluid's all topped off. So here is the dipstick on the transmission. Some smart engineer picked red plastic for red fluid. Doesn't make it so easy sometimes. Maybe there's a reason behind it, I don't know. I'll put it in, I'll actually screw it all the way in and then pull it out and check the quantity level that way. I was unsure about how much was actually in there, so I thought I would give it two or three double checks here just to make sure. And I'm sure if you read the owner's manual, it'll tell you whether you need to screw in the dipstick completely or just put it in the way you're seeing it here. I think you need to screw it in to get an accurate reading. All right guys, that's pretty much it. Pretty easy, it takes about 20 minutes I'd say. Save you a lot of money. If you like these type of videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, ask any questions. I'll be happy to answer them if I know the answer. And until then, we'll see you in a future video. See ya.